Hi, I'm Jocelyn Eggy. And I'm John Eggy. We have three boys, Jack, JR, and Hudson. We moved to Colorado about 16 years ago, and all three of our boys were born here. When we first met Children's, it was uh, probably the way that a lot of people do. We had three young boys, and uh, it felt like for a while there we were going to Children's every other month. Fortunately, you know, the boys never had any big medical conditions, but a lot of bumps and bruises along the way. It was very comforting to have a state-of-the-art facility here as you're growing a family. We really started to learn more about Children's and get more involved. Jocelyn's cousin Jenna and her husband Tom moved out. He completed his fellowship working in pediatric neurosurgery under Dr. Handler. He would share some of the stories that were going on uh, with Children's and just inspiring to hear and put all my, you know, quote unquote problems really in perspective. Hearing Tom's experiences and seeing his excitement was infectious and inspired us to learn more and see how Children's Colorado is really the heartbeat of our Denver community. To learn more, we accepted an invitation to the 2015 gala, and we just learned that at any level, you can make a huge difference. Learning more about it from the, the team at Children's Hospital of Colorado really realized how far these gifts really go. The turning point for us came in 2017. My family lost a cousin to suicide. I remember sitting at his funeral, he was only 19. And in that moment, looked to our three boys. You know, I think my grief really turned to fear quickly. At the time, suicide was the second leading cause of death in teens in the United States. So I reached out to one of our friends at the Children's Colorado Foundation and asked her, please tell me how we can be involved. How can we help? She invited me to come and tour the pediatric mental health facility and I was blown away, so impressed and overwhelmed by the level of care that Children's Colorado was already providing, but the need that was there and that Children's wanted to grow to meet. The need now is more important than ever. A lot of kids feeling incredibly isolated. Being a teenager is hard, um, but over the last 18 months, it's probably been unprecedentedly so. The last year and a half has been it's been a lot. Being physically isolated and really emotionally isolated was really, really tough. And there's a lot of anxiety that was really just amplified by the pandemic. And I know a lot of people who were really struggling with depression and questioning self-worth. And a lot of them really needed help. And some of them got it, but a lot of them still really need it. We wanted to try to find some way to, to change the course, see what we could do to make a difference. And we launched a, a series of informational sessions, getting groups of parents together with thought leaders in the space and mental health. The children's also brought in folks who'd been through it themselves, Missy Franklin with depression and anxiety. I finally had no other choice but to ask for help. And wanted to destigmatize the conversation around mental health. The best way to do that is to make sure that people feel comfortable talking about it. It was amazing to John and I both, how many parents had been wondering where to go and looking for resources on mental health. And I think we're so fortunate in our community to have Children's Colorado here as a resource. You know, we made the decision to, to not stay on the sideline and see if there was anything we could do to help. And we're hoping that others will join us and together we can all make a difference.